Hey guys, today I want to show you how you can produce high quality videos using Python. So when I started doing YouTube videos, I didn't know anything about video editing and I thought this must be feasible with Python. And indeed it is. So there is an awesome library in Python for video editing. And today I want to show you how to use it. So I want to mention that it might not be the best workflow for everyone and all my latest videos are edited with a normal video editing software, but it's absolutely capable to produce high quality videos. So let me show you a few examples. If we go to my channel and then to my videos and then scroll down there and then here you can see this advanced Python tutorials. So all of these videos are edited with a Python script. Also all of the videos in the machine learning from scratch playlist and also all the videos in this PyTorch beginner course are edited with a Python script and also some of them. So yeah, and what I also want to mention um, that um, free code camp took the videos from this advanced Python playlist and they combined this into one single video. And this has almost half a million views by now. So I'm very proud of this. And yeah, as I said, all of these videos were edited with a Python script. So I think this is proof that you can produce high quality videos with Python. You can do basically everything you need with it. You can do video cutting, text overlays, animations and much more. And for some workflows, it would even be much faster than using an editing software. So the reason why I switched to a normal video editor now was mainly because I wanted to teach myself how to use such a software and also because sometimes it's much nicer to have a graphical user interface. But yeah, you can see and test this for yourself. All right, so let's jump to the code. So the library we use here is called MoviePy. So this is an awesome open source library. You can also find this on GitHub. So it currently has over 7,000 stars. And you have the installation guide here. So you only need to say pip install moviepy. But then also when you want to work with text overlays, you need to install image magic. So I recommend to go to their official site and follow the installation guide. And then on Windows, you must be careful and want to include this image magic binary in your path and then you are good to go. And they also provide some example scripts here so you can have a look at them and then see how you can use this. So this is very helpful. So let's find out how I use this library. So this is the script I use. And as I said, it's a very short script. So we only need this. And let me go over this code and explain what happens here. So of course we need to import MoviePy. Then we specify some settings, for example, the video codec, the video quality and the compression. So you can find these in the documentation. And then I define the title of the file and the load title and the save title. And then I define the cut times. So this is the only thing that we have to change now. And you will see how I do this in a second. And then I have one single um, function, define edit video, which gets the load title, the save title and the cut times. And the first thing we do is we load the file by saying moviepy.video file clip. And then we go over all these cut times that I defined and I create a sub clip with the start and the end time and then append this to our clips list. And then at the end I say moviepy concatenate video clips and then this gets the final edited clip. For example, um, it might look something like this if we don't do this in a loop. For example, here we start at second 10 at 10 seconds and we go all the way up to four minutes and 32 seconds. Then we have a few seconds with well, that we want to cut out and then we continue at four minutes and 43 seconds up to this time. And then again, we have a few moments that we cut out and then we continue at seven minutes and 35 seconds. So we create a sub clip by 
specifying the start and the end time. Then we put everything in a list and then we simply say final clip equals movie pie concatenate video clips. So you can also do it the other way around and use video dot cut out and then specify the time that you want to cut out. But the last time I used this, there was a little bug in MoviePi that sometimes the video and the audio line were no longer synchronized. So maybe they have fixed this in the meantime. But anyway, yeah, you, you can also use this approach and define all the sub clips with the start and the end time. So yeah, that's what's happening here. And then we combine this with this MoviePie concatenate video clips and then you can already export this. And here in this example, I also want to show you how to use a text overlay. So for this, you create this by creating a text clip and then you specify the text and also some more settings like the font, the font size, the color and the background color. Then you set the position, then you set the start time, then you set the duration and you can also use an animation. For example, this crossfade in and the crossfade out for half a second. So yeah, it's very simple and I think the API is pretty clean and understandable. And yeah, when you have this text clip, then you create a composite video clip with your original clip and then the text overlay. And then when you have your final clip, you simply say final clip dot write video file and then specify the file name of the save file. And then here I also specified some more settings, for example, the number of threads. So you can use multi threading for this and the frames per seconds and the codec and the preset. And yeah, so again, for these arguments, have a look at the documentation. And then when you're done, you also want to say video.close. And yeah, so this is the only function that I run. And now let's have a look at an actual example. So for this, I created a short screen recording and we play this clip in a second. But you might notice that at the beginning there are some sounds that I don't want to have in the video and also in the middle there are a few silent seconds that I want to cut out. So let's first have a look at the clip and then afterwards let's see how we edit this. Test, test, test. Hey guys. So if you enjoy this tutorial please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. This helps me a lot. Thanks. All right, so that's the clip. And again, so we want to cut out the beginning and also the silent seconds in the middle. So let's have a look at how we do this with Python. So as I said, the only thing we have to specify now are the times of our sub clips that we do here in this list. So to find out these cut times, you could play the video with a video player and then stop at the time and then write it down and put it in here. But I actually have a nicer workflow. So what I do is I extract the audio line by simply with this simple script. So we simply create a audio file clip and then we say audio dot write audio file and now this can be an mp3 file and here I also specified the frames per seconds. So as you can see we can work with audio tracks separately and we could automate this even more. For example we could analyze the sound waves and automatically detect silent moments and then cut them out. For my workflow, it's a little bit more complicated because sometimes I don't talk, but I'm still typing code and then I don't want to cut this out. So that's why I still define the cut times manually, but I'm sure that this can be automated even more. So first of all, let me run this script. So if I say Python audio.py, then you might notice that the mp3 file appears in here. Alright, so this is done and you see here we have the mp3 file. So now what I do is I open a software that is called Audacity. So this is again a free software that's great for sound editing. And then I open the mp3 file in this. 
So here I have the mp3 file in Audacity and we can see the audio track. So let's start playing this. Test. Hey guys. And now whenever I come to a position where I know I want to keep only this, then I select this. And then here at the bottom, you see the start and the end of the selection. So the only thing we have to do now is to copy these times and then put it in our script. So let's do this. So in the script, now the only thing we have to change is this part where we specify the times of our subclips. So here I use the times from the selection. So this is two seconds and we can also specify the milliseconds if we want to and it goes up to four seconds and 152 for the milliseconds and then i continue here hey guys and now i have to deselect it again so then it continues and then i know here i'm at this position so now i want to select only this part and leave out the silent moments and then again here at the bottom we can find the start and end time of this. So let's use this. So let me make a copy of this tuple and then here we use this is 6 seconds 06 and for the milliseconds 328 and it goes up to 30 seconds and here we use 077. And yeah, then we are done. So this is all the editing that I need for this simple example. So now let's run this and see if this actually works. So now I run the script by saying python edit.py and this might take a few moments because video editing usually is slow. And you can see we have this nice progress bar and then you see our new file appeared here. So with the ending .mp4. So let's wait until this is finished. All right, so video editing is done. So let's open up the new created file and have a look at it. Hey guys, so if you enjoy this tutorial, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. This helps me a lot. Thanks. All right. So as you see, we cut out the test, test, test sequence in the beginning and we also cut out the silent moments in the middle and we even have a text overlay in the middle. So yeah, this works. And yeah, that's all that I do for video editing. If I want to use this Python script and don't need any fancy stuff, then I simply find out the start and the end times of the subclips that I want to use and maybe add a text overlay and then run the script. So yeah, that's how I do video editing for some of my videos with Python. And I think for some workflows, this can be much faster than using a normal editing software. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and then I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Hey guys. So if you enjoy this tutorial, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. This helps me a lot. Thanks.